edge of the nail. Thin is always best, so I would like to see two or three thin coats as opposed to one big thick coat. The other thing with the gel is our gel is very self-leveling, which means it spreads by itself very easily. And in so doing, it can run onto the cuticles and off the nail, and you don't want that to happen, because if that happens, it, you're going to have to pick it out and your nail will lift off. Now we're going to cure in our Get Nailed at Home Nail Light. And what you do is you just set your nails in there for two minutes, and that will set the gel. The gel will not dry unless it's placed in a curing light. And you wait for two minutes, and then once it's dry, you put on your next coat. Now, are you pushing your fingers as far back as they can go into the light, or uh, just on no, the edge? I'm just sending them inside there. If you were to use all four, you could go in a little farther just to get the pinky finger in because it's shorter, but because I'm only using two, we can just set them in this way. I just want to mention, too, that it's really important to keep all products out of the light. If I was to have my jar of gel sitting even right here in there, it would cure instantly and harden my entire jar of gel. And you don't want to do that because that's an expensive mistake. Even sunlight will cause your products to harden. So anything that has UV light attached to it will harden either your brush or your gels. So you need to keep them out of direct sunlight and out of the rays of the um, nail light. Speaking of gel, Cheryl, if you wanted to, could you just put a coat of gel over your natural nail? That's a very good point, Karen. Yes, you can. We call that an overlay because we're overlaying gel onto your natural nail. I'll get back to that in a second. I'm just going to apply a second coat here. And you just do again another thin coat. And if you were to just do an overlay, Karen, we would have just skipped the whole tip application step and gone straight into just the etching of the nail and gone straight into the overlay. And again, we're going to cook for two more minutes. These can be used also if you don't want to use a polish. You can just go into this and have a nice clear shine on your nail. And it will never dull. Does the light stay on for two minutes or should you time it yourself? You should time it yourself actually. If you have a little egg timer it's best. Yeah, it will stay on constantly. So now, now here we're actually curing the gel onto the nail? That's correct. Now what we're going to do is um, the one we're going to leave as a natural nail overlay and that is going to be over the tip. So it looks just like a natural nail, but it actually has a tip extended on the end. And I'm going to show you. When you see this nail beside this nail, although this is a tip, it still looks like a natural nail. This is my natural nail, and this is my tip. So you can get away with a natural nail look if you don't want to apply any French frosting to the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the frosted white tip, and I'm going to do that on this nail. Wouldn't it be better to go across so your line is straight? Um, actually, that's what I get to next. Once you've applied the product, it does, it's very crooked. It's almost impossible to make it straight. So wipe the tip of your brush and then come in behind and just pull it along like that. And now you have a nice end to it. And if you need to come in from this side, you can do that too. And that just makes your tip very smooth. And then we cure it again for two minutes. Now Karen, what I want to mention at this time is there's a film that comes as you cure the nail. What the light does is it causes the gel to stick to your nail and it creates what we call a dispersion film which is sticky. And it's very important that you don't wipe that off until you're finally finished all your nails because if you do wipe it off throughout um, you're going to have to replace it and what it does is it actually pulls the next product into it so it's very important to leave it on okay. until you're finished. Please, when you're doing this stay away from the side walls and the cuticles because if you get very close to the edges it's going to cause lifting. The farther you can stay away from there the better and if you apply them too thick it will dribble onto there and it will create a nightmare of problems for you. 
I think thinner nails always look nicer anyways. They do. They look very natural and they're very light. This nail does not feel heavy at all. And then you cook it again for two more minutes. Is the gel going to be just as strong in a thin layer as it would in a thicker layer? Yeah, actually it is just as strong. And um, thin layers are, are much easier to apply to. You know, it's so much easier. Cheryl, I would think that a thicker layer would make the nail last longer and be stronger. Is that not true? Well, you know, Karen, it's funny. A lot of people think that, but actually, no, it's not true. Um, the thicker layers take longer to cure, and there's really no point. It's actually just a waste of product. And the heavier the nail is in the front, it can sometimes become top-heavy and start lifting from the back. So thin is good. The product goes on absolutely transparent, so you don't have any clouding. It doesn't turn yellow. It doesn't look milky. They look very nice and natural. This looks so quick and easy. So much better than calling for an appointment, driving downtown, waiting for your appointment to start. How finding long does it take parking. from parking? Finding parking. How long does it take from start to finish to complete one set of nails at home? Well, it's good to do one hand at a time, step by step, and, and finish one hand before moving on to the second hand. And because you're curing for two minutes at a time, it probably take you close to half an hour to 45 minutes by the time you, you figure it out. And, but once you get good, you'll be down to half an hour. The other thing it's really good for, too, is if you're a professional and you wear your nails French and you happen to break one, you can do a quick repair at home and not have to worry about the time it takes to run down between your appointments and try to get into your regular nail tech. So this program would be great for busy professionals and stay-at-home moms. It's perfect for everyone.